Hey guys, what's going on? Um, well, you're uh, getting ready to take a look at something that I have uh, been really looking forward to buying and doing a lot of research on for a while now. Um, you know, there's 500 manufacturers and and tons of different models, uh, tons of different uh, options, and uh, as a first time buyer, um, you know, the only thing you can do is, is do your research. Watch over other people's YouTube videos and go to the manufacturer's website, uh, see what uh, used ones are selling for. And, um, and I did all that. And even then, it's still a little confusing. You still really don't know what to buy and, you know, what ultimately you're going to be happy with. And um, the thing that kind of pushed me over the top was uh, the name recognition of this company, the quality that they put out. And have put out for a long time and the fact that I got a really good deal on it which you know of course does not hurt um, they were running a uh, Black Friday sale um, actually Walmart was and the sporting goods store that I went to here locally um, claims that they never do this but that they did it for me and and they actually matched Walmart's price so uh, it, it was you know great for me and um, so without further ado, uh, this is what I got. This is my Sig Sauer M400 Enhanced AR15, of course. Uh, as you can see, it has a uh, pretty good assortment of uh, Magpul accessories on it that came factory just you know it, it how you are looking at it is how I took it out of the box and uh, so you have an OD green uh, accessory kit obviously Magpul makes uh, makes great equipment and uh, you know I added it up and I think there's about hundred and fifty hundred and eighty dollars worth of accessories that are on the gun And uh, this this particular gun, I uh, I did do a lot of research on, and I did look around, and uh, there were there were a few YouTube videos, you know, about the about the gun. But uh, I don't know what it is with some guys. I guess they're just not really into YouTube, or they don't really care about what they put out. Uh, but man, the quality of their videos was just horrible. The lighting was horrible. Everybody's recording off a laptop or a you know a, a cell phone or something and the quality is just it sucks you can't you know when you're trying to use it as a reference tool when you're trying to use YouTube or a video as a reference tool because you're getting ready to make an important purchase it really helps if you can see what you're getting ready to buy it really helps to see the the detail in something before you jump off the cliff and, and make a big financial decision and uh, you know maybe to some people that this isn't a big financial decision but you know, to me it is. So, um, I was not impressed with with the videos that were out there at all. Um, and you know, I'm not an expert in these. This is uh, again, this is my first AR. But uh, I really don't think you can go wrong with a Sig. And uh, with the Magpul accessories that are on there, I'm not a big fan of the two tone. I've never been a real big fan of, I mean, really anything in two tone. I hate two tone cars, uh, you know, paint jobs and stuff like that. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to order uh, all these same accessories only in black and uh, and then just maybe hang on to these that way you know if I change my mind later on down the road none of this stuff is really really hard to uh, swap out so I'll just you know I'll make it all black and uh, you know I'll, I'll still have the green set you know the OD green set of uh, accessories that you're looking at later on if I want to switch so let me give you some quick specs um, a lot of people do this in their videos, uh, but again, you know, I'm making this video as if somebody is interested in purchasing their first AR and they're not sure what to get. Here are some things that here's some specs that maybe uh, might interest you. So this gun is uh, obviously a 5.56 NATO, uh, which is what it's stamped with on the barrel, um, or 223. It does have a 16-inch chrome-lined barrel. And it is also phosphate coated. 
Now, I don't know if other manufacturers do that. Of course, you're always going to hear the, you know, oh, you know, yeah, of course, it's got a chrome line barrel and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I, I don't know that anybody else other than SIG does the, uh, the phosphate uh, coating on the barrel. And, of course, you know, they're saying it's going to provide superior uh, corrosion resistance. So, I don't know. Uh, here you have uh, the front sight and it is stamped with an F and of course the camera is not going to uh, focus there it is you can see it right there in the middle Zoom back out here. It has a 7075 T6 aircraft grade aluminum uh, forged lower receiver. I'm not sure what all that means, but if that's important to you, then, then there you go. Of course, this is now a direct impingement system. This is a direct impingement gas system with a rotating locking bolt. So you should be able to uh, see the gas tube running right through the foregrip there. Uh, overall length is uh, about 35 and a half inches uh, with the collapsible stock all the way, you know, it's in its most forward position, which is where it's at right now. Uh, you're at 32 and a half, roughly. The barrel, and this was important to me, um, has a one in seven twist. Most of your uh, other, you know, maybe entry level, entry level uh, ARs are usually going to have like a one in nine twist. And again, I'm no expert, but this is just from what I've been told. The one in seven twist is a much tighter twist, and and uh, you know, Sig is claiming this thing is just unbelievably accurate right out of the box, doing nothing to it. So this barrel is, uh, of course, chrome lined and phosphate coated, but but it also has the one and seven twist. Um, the gun itself weighs about six and a half pounds with no mag. Uh, it does have six grooves, and it is uh, what Sig is saying is it's got about a seven and a half pound trigger pull. I've watched some other videos of guys that were um, that actually you know put the little. Uh, pull machine deal thing on the trigger to test how much trigger pull there was and you know they were getting around five and a half six pounds so um, obviously uh, mag pull accessories which we've already talked about in OD green that is a mag pull P mag that is a 30 round magazine uh, might have seen it at the end of the barrel this is just a uh, kind of a general M16 A2 basic type flash you know suppressor and uh, we'll go around the gun here and show you some accessories and I'm gonna try to zoom in and I don't have a cameraman so I'm doing this all on my own and hopefully we don't make it too uh, too bumpy or ridiculous for you um, zoom in here I believe the front part here is gonna be a a bayonet attachment And then you have a sling attachment. Just kind of, you know, kind of free floating. Then obviously your uh, your foregrips, which you can put rails on if you want. And of course, rails would add, uh, you know, a flashlight or other accessories for it. The only thing I've done to this gun, which uh, obviously I told you I got it on Black Friday, the only thing I've done to the gun is um, just kind of clean it up and 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 uh, preserve it with ballastol, but that's that's pretty much it. And you also have um, flip-up sights. 
and the flip-up sights actually have two different windows. Uh, you get the bigger window there and then a small one. Of course you have a flat rail on the top so if you want to take that side off uh, you can that's no big deal if you want to put an optic on the front you can If you want to change out the charging handle, you can do that. Obviously, they make everything for these guns, so. It does have forward assist. And it's pretty ambi, um, except for the safe controls. Uh, it's got an ambi mag release, but uh, as you can see, you can you can flip that around if you wanted to. But for me being a righty, it's uh, it's it's fine right where it is. And then of course your your stock is adjustable. They do have like a a rubber butt pad on it, but of course these guns have very very little recoil. So there she is. That is my, uh, I guess my Christmas present. Um, do you have a, a little door down here on the bottom that you can take off and store some batteries if you have an optic or whatever? Um, I think it's pretty sweet. Uh, Sig is uh, is obviously known for their their quality. Um, they're also known for their tight tolerances and uh, this weapon is, is no exception. And then of course to break it down you just have the two pins that you just need to knock out. There's a pin here and a pin here and uh, then the gun just comes right apart. But I don't know if you can see that. I mean the tolerances are, are just very very tight and you really have to press down the upper onto the lower to get your pins back in. So anyway what I was saying was uh, sometimes your tolerances can be different in you know 1911s and uh, and out of the AR-15s that I looked at, um, some of the tolerances where the upper meets the lower was uh, was different. You know, there's a little bit more of a gap in some others than uh, than this particular gun. So the other thing I forgot to point out was um, you do have points right here where you can put in uh, like a quick disconnect deal, whether it be for a sling or yeah, I think usually it's sling. There's another one there. Of course, you have a dust cover. You know, this is pretty, you know, pretty typical <clears throat> of uh, you know what you're going to see. There's your F stamp, and then the barrel is also marked uh, five five six. But uh, you know, for the money, this was really really hard to pass up. Especially that uh, they were the sporting goods store that I was going to, uh, they were going to match what Walmart's price was. So um, I haven't had a chance to shoot this yet, but uh, I can't wait to, and, and obviously I can't wait to start getting some accessories for it. And I'm not going to go crazy with it, but um, you know, probably the first thing is going to be getting rid of some of the, the OD green and just going all black. But I think I got a really good deal. Um, this was 867 plus tax. So for a SIG with, you know, $150, $180 worth of Magpul accessories on it, you know, flip up front sights, um, I, I don't, I don't see how I went wrong, but, uh, 
you guys let me know. All right? This is Eric at Tri-State Public Safety, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.